Hi, and welcome to another edition of What's the Story here on The People Chronicles. My name is Joe Painter, and with me today is Patty Traybosch. Hi, Patty. Hi, Joe. You are a mom with a mission. I am a mom with a mission. You are a mom with a mission. There's no doubt about it. I heard Bill Higby reached out and said, hey, you ought to talk to Patty. And then I heard from you. When did this mission start? It started when my son Nico was in um, the Karen Foundation. That's when it started because it's so hard to get them in somewhere that I decided that I was going on a mission to do something about this. Let's go back even further. Mm -hmm. How old's Nico? He's 23. He's 23 year old and your mission started when you went to Karen Foundation, but something happened leading up to that to make a mission. What, yes. what was the experience? Nico's been on drugs since he, for about nine years now. Okay. But it didn't get bad until he started doing the heroin. Um, and then we realized, his, myself and his brother and sister and his dad saw that, and um, we just knew we had to do something. So as a mother, I got him into rehab before he turned 18. He went through 30 days, he came out, and he went right back on it because he was not in an aftercare program. He wasn't ready either. Right, um, right. Then it was another two years, and um, then we finally got him into the Karen Foundation. You said something key. You said, as a mother, I got him in because he, was, he wasn't 18 yet. Yes. So it was a whole different scenario once he was over 18. Then he was on his How own. How did that work out he for was on you? How did you get him in? What, what kind of assistance can you offer? Um, he actually decided he was ready to go. Okay. Um, through the whole thing, I kept saying, are you ready? You know, do you want to go? No, you know, he just wasn't ready. So he actually, I think, they say hit rock bottom, but I don't think he did hit rock bottom. I think he was just done and ready to go. You're saying something really important for all moms, all family members to know. They have to be ready. Mm -hmm. We're ready before they start it, aren't we? Yes. As parents, as yes. family members, you want, you want the suffering to stop. But as ready as we are, it doesn't matter unless they are. That's right. They have to be ready. So Nico was ready. Um, to get into Karen Foundation, what did that require? Well, at first they said they took our insurance and then they called the next day and said they did not accept it. But what the person he spoke to, she did an amazing job. Um, I'll forever be in debt to her. She actually called a meeting with the alumni and got him a scholarship. And then we wow. had to pay $5,000 mm -hmm. when he went in. Um, yeah, it was, I, I was, we were blessed. Um, so I want to pay it forward now and help the next maybe 100 people, hopefully. Blessed, probably doubly, because there was an alumni organization that helped you yes. provide scholarship assistance for Nico to get into rehab. Um, but because you weren't tied to insurance, you had some more latitude sometimes when insurance pays for it, they call the shots. True. and say, oh, you're done, whether or not. That's you know. what we dealt with the last rehab. He went through detox, they said, that's it, no more. You have to come home. I fought with them. They said, okay, we'll give you five more days. And so I fought throughout the whole 28 days that he was there, just to get him there for the 28 days. Just to get the, yeah. So there was kind of a double blessing that you yes. had the scholarship. So how are you, first of all, How's Nico? Nico's amazing. Yeah? He's been clean and sober. Saturday was five months. Wow, yay! Yes. That's yes. huge. It's That's huge. huge. Good it's for him. It's the longest for he's been clean and sober in nine years. And it's not an easy thing to do. No. He'll so have, he'll big credit to himself. Yep, yep. Um, he's staying clean and sober. How? He's at an aftercare program, mm -hmm. which is extremely important in the recovery process. He did not have that before. A lot of these kids don't have it. They mm -hmm. go back home, they go back on it because they don't have the tools where with this aftercare program, he's at Serenity Lodge. Um, he lives with about 20 other kids mm -hmm. around his age um, who are going through the same thing he is. And they, they have act things for them to do all the time. And he goes to meetings all the time. They got him a job. Excellent. Um, they Excellent. transport him. Yep. Yep. And so as of July 2nd, he's getting his own apartment, but he will never come back to Berks County. That's understandable. Mm -hmm. And for, for somebody might be listening right now and saying, why not? Because the triggers are there. Mm -hmm. Because that's mm -hmm. where he used and he can't come back.
So he's surrounded by a community yes. that's helping him stay sober because everybody's trying to do the same thing. So yes. they're doing it together. Yes. Learning to live sober, clean mm -hmm. and free. Mm -hmm. Good that's for why the aftercare is excruciatingly important. That's expensive too, though, isn't it? A little bit. And does insurance cover that? No, not, not at, at all. all. Not at all. So I'm hearing, Patty, that you ran into this angel along the way who really helped you um, with a scholarship and helped mm -hmm. Nico yes. get to where he needed to be to do what he needed to do. How are you paying it forward? I'm doing a walk on October 1st. Mm -hmm. All the proceeds will go to the Karen Foundation and then we'll be head up to Serenity Lodge. Um, so hopefully a lot of people come to the walk. It's October 1st, it's at 10 o'clock in the morning and it's at the Kutztown High School. And so how do you sign up for the walk? Just show up. Just show up. Get some, get some people to sponsor you and um, just show up. What's the cost for the walk? Um, well, if you go out and get 10 of your friends to give you $5. It's free, right? It's free. <laughs> You'll get a t-shirt. Um, we're gonna have a Chinese auction. We're gonna have a DJ, um, just so much um, to do. And What's driving you to do this? What do you hope to accomplish? You said the number 100. I wanna help as many as I can to get to the point where Nico is, is that they can say they're clean and sober for five months. And in aftercare is pretty imperative for that to yes, happen. Yes, it is, 100%. So you're trying to help those who maybe don't have the resources, yes. either financial or support network, yes. to get there. Mm -hmm. That's yep. a very cool thing. Yep. You, have you had any, any um, reach out yes. from anybody to Two date? People. Two people have seen the walk on my Facebook page and mm -hmm. have approached me. Kids 118, 121, I think. Wow. And um, yeah, I'm helping them. Get. How are you helping them? Directing them in the right direction. What could you share now for maybe anybody who is either suffering themselves or family members? What, what could you offer that's helpful? Or maybe what did you learn along the way that you shouldn't do? Perhaps you did and you shouldn't do. And you didn't know that because you know your heart's in the right place. But maybe after um, learning more about the disease of addiction. Um, let's, well, the main thing would be probably to call, call Karen. Um, the people that they have there taking their phone calls, amazing people. They found their calling and they will be able to direct them in the right direction. So if you have any considerations or concerns, call Karen. Yeah. And that's whether you are using yourself or you know somebody who is? Yes. And as a mom, what were some signs that you saw with Nico that, that, gave you some major red flags? Um, with the heroin, it's the nodding off, um, dilated pupils, but the nodding off is the most. You know, they'll be sitting there talking and all of a sudden their head drops down. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, was there resistance from Nika? I mean, is, is there denial, I suppose? No, I'm good, Mom. Don't um, worry. Yeah, oh, there was lying. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. there was lying. Every lie in the book. Um, and there, was, there wasn't denial. Nico was brutally honest with me through the whole thing. Sometimes I didn't want to hear it. Um, he did lie to his dad more than me. He was really honest with me. Um, but um, the, the attitude came out, you know. You, you'll, you'd know. It, it's not just your normal teenage you know, going through the teenage years, yep. it's definitely, you'll, you'll be able to tell um, when they're using. And how about you, Mom? Like, did, so all of those things, they're not normal teenage behavior, lying, stealing, mm -mm. as a matter of course. Mm -hmm. What did you do for you, Mom, to take care of you through the process? Because it's, it's daunting and exhausting and heartbreaking to it all is. of those things. During the process where he used? Yeah. I, 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 people handle it differently. I, sure, I did does. this. Get out. Good for you. His dad did the opposite. Good for you. He catered. He paid his fines. He paid his insurances. He, you know, he, he was an enabler to That's the That's the worst thing you can do. Yes, it is. Great father. He's a great father. But I did the whole, you know, don't talk to me. He never brought drugs to my house. He knew. Um, he knew. He respected me enough to do that. He never stole from me. Stole from his dad, but he never stole from me. Um, but what I did, I, I read a lot. 
-hmm. I got involved in other people's lives. Um, I, had a, I have a ton of friends support system. My family, my kids, my other two kids. Huge help. Good. Huge help, yeah. And so now you want to pay it forward because yes. the most important thing is not rehab, it is? Recovery. For, for you and for Nico, that's the experience? Yes. How oh, the aftercare is, is important. It all just is like in a big ball. And insurance is um, kind of tricky. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and it's a bit of a double-edged sword. Yes. And the whole prospect is, or can be expensive, mm -hmm. hence the walk. Yes. You are an angel. Do you know that? Thank you. <laughs> you, are providing, you are providing for other, others who are suffering from addiction and want to get off mm -hmm. the drug of choice, whatever that might be, right. and um, offering them a, a, a hand up. Yes. So they're thinking, you know, and we can all take part in that. Yes. So the walk is October 1st. Yes. Kutztown. Kutztown High School. What's yes. your Facebook page so you can get more information there? The Facebook page for the walk is Serenity Drug Recovery Walk, and it's a public, so you can, anybody can go on there. Mm -hmm. And it, when a youngster comes to you, like to have, what's the first thing you offer them? So that anybody listening right now who's struggling and don't, doesn't know where to go, and maybe they haven't called Karen yet. The first thing I offer them, a hug. They all need it. They really do. A hug is good. Mm -hmm. You're Love. good. Love, yes. And there's a big hug from Teddy Trebosh. Thank you very much for sharing your story and best to you. God bless. Thank you very much. Want to know more about who's doing what in Berks County? Check out the stories on thepeoplechronicles.com. These community stories are made possible in part by BCTV, Susie Ray Design, Queen City Family Restaurant, Lamar Advertising, Heidelberg Family Restaurant, Reading Air, Lions and Hole, Peanut Bar, and Kutztown University.